Once upon a time, in a factory not so far away, there was a battle brewing between two waxes, Paraffin Pete and Sally Soy. The two waxes had been arguing for years, trying to convince the other that they were the superior choice. Paraffin Pete has got comfy at the head of the table for decades, and still today has no intentions of giving up his seat. Sally Soy, on the other hand, could give two wicks what Paraffin Pete thinks and is going to take her seat at the other end of the table. From her perspective, if someone were to walk into the room, they wouldn't know the difference between who was in charge. After all, both were at different ends of the table. Paraffin Pete, very popular, reliable, and known for top-notch performance. Pete boasts about his affordability and his ability to make fantastic smelling candles. All right, now listen here. When you want the best, Paraffin Pete passes the test. Not to mention, you can all afford me. You get some wax, you get some wax, you get some wax, you, 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 hell, even you get some wax. We got it, Pete. Sally Soy, on the other hand, raved about being a more eco-friendly alternative. Sally Soy claimed a cleaner burn and argued that she was the more trendy choice. You know what? Spare me, Pete. Don't get me wrong. I know you got good stuff, but don't you think it's time to evolve? I mean, I too remember when CRT TVs were cool. All right, now, Missy, what's wrong with the CRT TV? Really? Well, I guess it's not as bad as disposable cameras. Well, now what's wrong? You have a camera on your phone, Pete. My phone's got a camera? Well, now ain't that something. The debate went back and forth, neither one willing to back down. The tension between these two waxes was very noticeable, and the other components in the industry began to take sides. Some supported Paraffin Pete, while others championed Sally Soy. As the battle raged on, workers struggled to get anything done. The waxes were constantly bickering, and the air was thick with the scent of melted wax and frustration. It was time to bring the two together at the same table again. It was time to sort this out. And so they did. But as the two waxes were in the middle of yet another heated argument, a newer wax showed up and took a seat at the table. It came across as very soft and sweet, but unknown to the others, it had a sticky side as well. Hi, everyone. Hi, how's everyone doing? Hi. Look, I just, I just really enjoy working with everyone. I like all of you, and I think we should all just learn to relax, soften up a little bit, and uh, just go with the flow, you know? Just go with the flow. Nevertheless, it immediately caught the attention of other waxes and the rest of the candle industry. But before they even had time to meet and really get to know this new wax, another new wax joined the party. What up? Coconut Chris and Apricot Annie took their seats. Uninvited, by the way. These two newcomers immediately began making claims that they were the new bullies in town, that they ran things now. Paraffin Pete and Sally Soy looked at each other and just rolled their eyes. <sighs> Who do these two think they are? It's just a fad. Coconut Chris tried to convince the others that it was the most luxurious wax of them all. But Apricot Annie chimed right in and said, not so fast. Look here, Greaseball. You've had your moment to shine where you were the next best thing since sliced bread. Except your moment only lasted about uh, three seconds. Well, but I... Really? What are you going to do about it? Nothing. You know how I know? Because you're soft. Too soft. Yeah, you're right. Paraffin Pete and Sally Soy just staring back at each other, shaking their heads again. These new waxes are all just talk. They don't know the first thing about making candles. Yeah, I know, right? That one's literally made of fruit. Sally, you're literally a vegetable. Sort of. Hey, look who's talking. You're trash. I mean, actual recycled waste. <gasps> How dare you? Meanwhile, Coconut Chris and Apricot Annie were not easily deterred. They were determined to prove their worth, so they challenged Paraffin Pete and Sally Soy to a candle-making competition. The pairs would team up as the old-timers versus the newcomers, although still judged independently. Sort of a team wax gymnastics competition, if you will. The competition was fierce, but in the end, Paraffin Pete and Sally Soy emerged victorious. Despite losing the competition, Coconut Chris and Apricot Annie were not ready to give up. They knew they had a lot to learn from the older and more experienced waxes. Yeah, look, we're sorry. We're, we were arrogant and, and probably even just a little bit cocky. We know we have a lot to gain from your wisdom and years of experience. You're such a pushover. But he's right. Well, listen, we appreciate that. And look, you've, you've opened our eyes a bit as well. Maybe we've been running on our reputation for so long that we just didn't take the time to open our eyes and embrace some new ideas. Did I just say all that out loud? Yeah, I mean, after all, fruits and vegetables do go great together. Relax, Sally. We're making candles here, not salad. And so Coconut Chris and Apricot Annie struck a deal with Paraffin Pete and Sally Soy. They would work together to make even better candles in the future. They realized they all had their unique strengths and weaknesses. By working together, they could create candles that were truly special. Paraffin Pete and Sally Soy learned to appreciate the natural and silky smooth characteristics of Coconut Chris and Apricot Annie. While Coconut Chris and Apricot Annie learned to appreciate the affordability, reliability, and performance of Paraffin Pete 
in Sally Soy. In the end, the candle industry and factories became a much happier and more productive place, thanks to the collaboration of the four waxes working together. They had realized that by putting their differences aside and working together, they could create something that was truly wonderful. But the peace did not last long. One day, while the waxes were hard at work, a new shipment arrived. It was a case of beeswax. What is that? What's up, beaches? I heard you all were buzzing around town. Thought I would sting on by. Oh, come on. I hope you guys enjoyed this fun and mildly ridiculous short story of the Battle of the Waxes. All kidding aside, the development of wax blends on the market have really made a tremendous impact to the candle industry over the years. So if blended waxes are not something you've considered trying, give it a shot. You might find yourself never wanting to go back. And if not, no big deal. There are plenty of fantastic individual waxes on the market as well. In fact, let me know in the comment section what type of wax you prefer the most. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and check out other videos here on the channel. The majority are more of your, what you would call traditional type candle making and small business videos. All right, I'll see y'all next time. Thanks.